YouTube. This is this video is to show you how to update to 5.50 Gen A full. Make sure you update from 5.00 M33, 5.02 Gen, 5.03 Gen, 5.01 M33. Do not update from Chick Hen. This is a warning. If you update from Chick Hen, your PSP will brick. And there's absolutely no way for you to fix this unless you send it to Sony themselves. And they will find out that you tried to hack your Slim 3000 or the 88 version 3 motherboard and they will not return it to you. You have a brick. No use. Hello YouTube, this is Billow02 with a new video for YouTube. If you may know this already, but uh, custom firmware from the French team, PSP Gen, has released their firmware, which uh, a few weeks ago, um, 5.50 Gen A full. Um, it's practically an M33 firmware, can play ISOs, CSOs, and um, another video will be showing you how to install CXMB for PSP Gen. Um, that CXMB will not allow 5.00 M33. Um, themes, but uh, there are a few themes now for 5.50 Gen. Um, just to show you that this is 5.50 Gen, you see, see there, it is 5.50 Gen A full. Now, um, I'll download the link to the right of the um, YouTube video to the right on the description there will be a download link which will give you a file which includes everything from the ebu to the 500.pbp for you to update 550 pbp for you to update to 5.50 gen a full all right youtube so now you go to your computer um download the uh click on the link to the right on the description and it will go to mega upload and do please download the file which you do need to update um, once you are done downloading bring it to your desktop it will be named 5.50 gen a full below 02 what you do is you open this which will you need winrar for this to open and you extract these two folders on your desktop now you wait for it to uncompress and then open and place your PSP in USB mode if you you need USB mode now continue without scanning if you if that pops up for you and th then you open folder to view the files what you do is you go to PSP then you go to game and you place update there which you, you see I already have update there um, then if you have a PSP slim um, you also place gen also in your game folder what you do then is you close exit USB mode uh, make sure any plugins in your PSP are turned off and then uh, run update first and then it should flash after that you do need to if you are slim run the the build 4 patch to your 5.50 gen because there is a bug in build 3 for slim users after you run that you are uh, you have a working fine 5.50 gen a full um i will show you a quick preview of 5.50 gen a full build 4 um like the normal official firmware 5.50 and 5.51 you will see that you are able to make subfolders in your folders so as you can see favorites then rock which is another folder, but you can still put music, which, as you can see, human. Um, I'll show you. And then in rock, you can place your music there. Um, you cannot make folders in your subfolders, but you still have subfolders. I'm just saying. That's one of the new features in 5.50 Gen. Another new feature is that, well, not really a feature. Um, what's uh, unique about um, Gen is that when you go into uh, recovery mode it will be a different color which is sort of nice I like green myself uh, other than the red and black of M33 as you can see there it's gen recovery menu main menu 
Um, there is a plugin, CFMB. I will make you a video for that. I'll upload that in uh, a few hours from now. And that's just a quick preview of what's new. Um, also, if you're back into the PSP, uh, a new uh, feature there is the. Let, let me show you first. It's loading. There you go. You go to your network, and there you know there's usually a sign up for PlayStation Network and PlayStation Store. What's new is this, the information board, but you still do need internet access for this to work. It shows updates in the PlayStation Network or the PlayStation World. Also, there's a feature for the internet browser about uh, safe browsing, but uh, nobody really uses it, nobody really cares. So, A quick preview of the 5.50 gen.